Tom and welcome to another exciting episode of Church Girls Who Rock with myself, V Swazi. She is a second part of the equation of two. I had her sister on the show not so long ago and um, you know when you see one you see the other. This is the younger one and she's my friend. Her name is Gift Vilagazi and I know that I'm about to be fined because now she is Mrs. Lidimo. Mrs. Lidimo. Gift, welcome. Thank you so much. Good Thank time. you for having me. Thank you for having So, uh, Uviki was here and we had a chat. Yes. Initially, I thought that I'm going to put you guys on a show together. Mm -hmm. I thank God we split you up. Because <laughs> Uviki preached up the storm. <laughs> yes. There were amens and hallelujahs. Hey, come on now. Imagine now if we were three. This is of a congregation. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She was gonna this is bumbang an altar call. Yeah, 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 yeah. So today the focus, the spotlight is on you. Okay. I know you that so people much, know man. you as well from Joy Celebration. Yes. When we were, you know, we had the we, we used to call ourselves yeah. the the crocodiles, yes. the dinosaurs yes. of Joyas back <laughs> then. Like yes. we were joyousing before Joyas Joyas. <laughs> I'm telling you, hey, because yeah. we joyced everything. You no. know? Yeah, we we, we 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 were like the core, the you know, the roots, mm. the, the foundation, the everything. Yes, and 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 in joyous while we were there, you then became a member of a girl group. Yes, gospel girl group. Well, yes. M20. Well, M20. Mm. Yes. Um. Wow. Um, you know, it was so, you know, during those times, my school, and it, it yes. was, you know, singing was like a passion more yes. than anything else. Mm. So when we're given an opportunity, uh, well, it was so amazing because you think, okay, and there's joy celebration. Now I'm given this opportunity to be part of the three girls, you know, the spotlight. Yes. Who and about three, and Nico Baning stage. So yes. it felt so good. And so much experience was gained there, you know. Mm -hmm. Even though, you know, Alice's cards, you would do it, but Ungenes do it. But we will understand what's okay. Trump, cool, and cool, and Trump, but in teen, about the one. Teen, the cool, and what's in teen, me, Navan. But I guess. Uh, all those times and everything that you've done became a, a puzzle that connected to each other, yes. you know, until where we are today. Where we are you know? today. Yes. And people would, would automatically assume that you are Vicky's sister. Yeah. And that's not a career. No. Being Vicky's no. sister is not a career. Yes. You know, and even sometimes being part of a girl group is not a fully known career for sure and and it's amazing and people will find out now mm -hmm. what you have done yes. as Ukis yes. stand alone oh yeah and how you have toured the world yes. internationally yes. Um, and what what really grabs my interest is that you didn't necessarily take the solo career route but you went into theater of what course. brought that about so when I left Chair Celebration, I I worked with Uchonina, uh -huh. and when I, I was working with Chonina, a friend of mine introduced me to uh, Umoja. Mm -hmm. So when I was with Umoja, I gained a lot of experience. I I I, I just found out good. I love theatre, you know, I'm a dance. You people always know that flex is good. Of course, you know, <laughs> people know me in dance and the So yes. when I got to Umoja, I was like, okay, I think I'm comfortable here, yeah, but yes. because you are dancer yes. and all that. But I didn't know what I would gain so much experience when it comes to theatre because I just fell in love with yes. theatre performance because I would sing. And acting as well. Yes, I would you sing. You would do these personalities out of the blue. You kept us entertained <laughs> on those tour buses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, you know, and you know, I was known as the naughtiest Moscow yes. Yes. So I think that thing went with me to uh, Ga Umocha. When I, I got to Umocha, then I got to learn uh, theatre performances. I got to learn how to present yourself in a theatre stage. And I got to know how to... Um, how to handle yourself in a theatre stage because theatre stage is different from the normal stages that you see joy like mm -hmm. your joyous stages. So it teaches you a lot of a lot of discipline. Discipline because yes. you are doing the same thing every night for six days. Yes, if the toy is three months, you do exactly that for the whole entire three months if you guys are in a tour. Mm -hmm. So I gained so much experience and I found myself there. Yes. I found comfort there. I found everything that I needed to find in my career. I love how you say you found yourself. Yes. And, and I love how you say it was natural for you because 
the naughty you, the flexy you, the 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 animated you yes. now got platform to actually make that a career. A career. Now tell me about the place that you've been involved with. I think you did a tour also in was it Holland? Yes. Was it Holland? Yes. What what was that about and how did that come about? Because I think you were a solo artist yes, I was. with people who are speaking a foreign language and they're singing a language that's foreign to them. Yes. Can you tell me a bit about that? So, um, as you know that I've been traveling the world with different shows. I traveled with Soroti Spiritual Singers. Okay, yes. first I've been traveling with Umoja. So, for so many years I've traveled the world with Umoja, different countries. And then I went with Soweto Spiritual Singers in Netherlands. Were you so, ever part of Soweto Gospel Choir? No, I created Soweto Gospel Choir. Okay. Yes. What does that mean? So I'm the brains behind Soweto Gospel Choir. Okay. So when I was with Umocha, we were in Australia. So Beverly Briar mm -hmm. saw me. I was at the reception. It was in the evening. So my key happened not to work. So mm -hmm. I was going to change my key at the reception. So she's like, I know you. I think I know you from Joya's celebration. I was like, yeah, I was from Joya's. Then she said, can we talk? I said, okay, cool. Then she told me that I want to start a choir, but I don't know how to go about it because I don't have the background of gospel and everything. Okay. So uh, I think you're the right person to help me establish that. I said, okay, because we're in Australia, in a week's time, you're going back to South Africa. So when we go back home, let's have a meeting. Let's see what, how, what, what we can do. So when we had a meeting, then I started unfolding everything to her to say, this is what you need to do. This is how it's supposed to happen. So she knew nothing about starting auditions, anything. So I started everything from scratch. I created their first show. <laughs> I created their second show, their first album. I actually chose the songs for their first album, Sorry to Gospel Choir. And I worked on their second album as well with Beverly Briar. And I remember so, on that project, there were other people, I'll call them colleagues, like yes. about Jeff. Jeff, Smongile Mahate, yes, Shimi Chiyane, Jesse Kambangeni, the mm. poets now, and Tembi Sakuzwa. Yes. Yo, yes. Those were the people whom spoke as Numa, no, those were the people that I started with when I worked with the Soweto Gospel Choir. Those were the people I taught them the songs. Those are the people I taught them. We would say, no, when you move, you move like this, you do like this. So I would rehearse with Omoja in the, in the morning until five. And then when Omoja uh, knocks off, I will stay behind because we are rehearsing at the same venue. Okay. So I would wait for the rehearsals of Sorry to Gospel Choir now. So when they come, I will start to rehearse with them and teach them whatever. And then I wrote songs as well for them. I've got two songs that I've written for them, which is Nimowako and Tina Simobile. Mm -hmm. And you know, amazingly, Tina Simobile is doing so well uh -huh. on YouTube. Like, I was so shocked when I clicked on the song. The song is so big, so big. Like, I've got um, universities in America mm -hmm. that are using that song wow. to teach a or everyone how to sing the Zulu. Wow. Yes. Wow. So you can Google the song Tina Mobile and some of them have re-recorded the song. My song is sung by Japanese. There's wow. some Japanese in, in Japan, Korea and Kenya mm -hmm. and every, they're using my song. But not only that, you also write songs for other artists as yes, well. Yes, I write songs. I'm a songwriter. I've written songs for a lot of artists. Uh, I can just name like Joy Celebration is singing my song, the one that Bugiwe is singing. That's my song. Mm -hmm. um, I've written a song for Spirit of Praise. My sister is singing the song, Wasabela. Mm -hmm. I've written a song for, there's a song that is sung by Umam Debra Fraser. Mm -hmm. The same song that is sung by uh, Sorry to Gospel Choir, Gimbo Walker. Okay. That's my song. So would you say that songwriting is a career on its own? Um, come again? Would you say that songwriting is a career on its own? I would say that because you know there are some people who are just songwriters mm. they can't sing they can't dance mm. they can't do anything they just write songs and get money out of that mm. you know and it depends of the kind of style or kind of music or kind of sound they're working on or they're doing mm. you know i think it's how you do your craft that's true that makes you authentic mm -hmm. that makes you to to be 
uh, special. Mm -hmm. So I think it's how you craft your craft. So you are speaking about authenticity. Yes. You are in Holland. Yeah. You are this African woman. Yes. For lapchas, flex, and yes. can sing and can dance. Yes. You are bringing magic to the stage. Yes. And do you believe that it's the same on authenticity that brought you onto that platform? How was that experience? It was amazing. This is how it came about. So I was when I was traveling with uh, uh, so it's a spiritual thing as I also traveled with a show called Ibusasa. That was the show that we went on, me and my husband mm -hmm. and uh, the promoter in, in Netherlands, which is Yvette. Mm -hmm. So we worked on the show. So as we were working on the show, there was this guy that met my husband that was not there. My husband was in Netherlands. So mm -hmm. this guy wanted to do a, a show like Journey Through Black Gospel. Mm -hmm. So, and then he said, but I love the energy that your wife brings when she's on stage. Because yes. whenever we come to watch the show, she's, she's so beautiful to watch. Mm -hmm. So, and then she, you are. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. So this guy approached me and then he said, look, I want to do this show. And then I said, no, let's do it, you know. So I was the only uh, international uh, artist, mm -hmm. which from South Africa, of course. Yes. And then everyone on stage were Dutch people, the band, wow. the BBs and the choir. Communication. Um, so this is what I needed to do. I had to send songs to them. That they can rehearse the songs and then send lyrics to them and then i had to ask someone to write to score the music for them so that at least they know how to read so they read the music so they rehearsed that side i they sent me songs as well this side so i rehearsed so when i went to holland so i, I the first time i only had a rehearsal for like a day mm -hmm. they yes. knew the language no, they don't know the language. They don't know Zulu. They don't know nothing. So they, you had to teach that as yes. well. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, and you must hear how they sound. They sound proper. Wow. They sound, because when I get there, I also do workshops. Yes, I was about to say, Tabuti, this also now is another avenue or, or, or something else that people are not aware of. The fact that you actually do vocal workshops. Yes. You train choirs. Yes. You teach choirs. Yes. You, you, you piece together ensembles, having worked on Soweto Gospel Choir, yes. Soweto Spiritual Singers. Singers. So this is something that is like, you know, that comes naturally to you. Yes. Is that a profession as well? It is. That it is. is something that you do professionally. Yes. And you, you as people are watching now, they can book you come to on come now. and <laughs> come on now. to come and, and 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 do that for them. Yes, I do that because even in Holland, when I when I was in Holland, I had to teach the Dutch people mm -hmm. you nearly know, the pronunciation of Zulu mm -hmm. and you can hear how they sound. You can check on YouTube. They sound so amazing. Mm. I've posted some videos on Facebook, and the comments people are like, "What are these people Dutch?" Mm -hmm. Like, yes, they Dutch. Yes, I saw some clips. Yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes. So there's a song I wrote called "La Pogubule Ujesu." Mm -hmm. That song they sing and sound like us. You know. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do. I do workshops for uh, praise and worship teams. Mm -hmm. I do workshops for choirs. Mm -hmm. You know. As you know, I'm a creative, yes. so I create, mm. you know, anything, I create anything. You know, when a promoter says to me, gift, I want a show, mm -hmm. I want you to create, just give me a brief. Yes. And then I go home, I don't sleep, I sit with my husband, we look at each other and it's like, okay, here's the show, what do we do? So we tailor make according to what the client wants. Yes. So we tailor make, so we are not stationed into one thing. So if a show is about uh, gospel, we do gospel. If it's about uh, my 50s, you know, the... You, you know. need to write me a song. And um, so oh. I'm waiting for a song from Gift, everybody. Awesome. And, uh, you me. mentioned working with your husband. Yes. How's that? Ooh. He's also in the theater space. Um, yes, my husband is a creative. He's a theater producer and then he's a manager. Sometimes he manages shows that travels internationally. So half of my life, if I'm not, if not half, maybe let me just say 99.9% .9 of my life, all the projects I'm doing, I'm with my husband. I'm um, You know, until we, we told ourselves, when we work, there's this thing that we always say, when we work, we don't have a husband. I don't have a husband. He doesn't have a wife. Yes. You know why? 
because we say balega le lento guts if there's a mistake yes. now he has to look at me and they're like hey babe yeah. you know love yeah. no so when we work when we, when we are in our comfortable space of working you need to pull in your weight yes. as an artist yes and yes. when i'm wrong he goes straight to it no that's not how we do no, it no 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 hey, hey. yeah, but... and we've learned to it was hard look i'm not gonna lie to you and say ah, it was just nice you know there were times where we would fight but no i don't see it like that and but, you've, but you've been married how long 17 years now and it never impacted on your marriage not at so all so it means that you found not at all ground oh yeah and you made it work yes you made it work oh no not at all because when we leave the rehearsal space the love that we gave each other we are more like friends now you know i'm able to laugh with my husband from driving from Chobek to Mpumalang. And you laugh. can laugh. Uh-oh. She can laugh. <laughs> now, I've seen Uh-oh. recently how you've, I don't want to say changed your lifestyle, but you've taken yeah. a, 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 a healthier perspective or route to your life. Like you yes. had a health a weight loss challenge. Yes. Yes. And um, what drove that decision for you? Um, I was very big. I was size 52. Okay. Yes. And I felt because I'm 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 always on stage. I'm always performing. So that was affecting. It was affecting my health. You know, I felt I would feel very tired all the time. I'm tired. You know, and I could not pull the show for two hours. You know, by the time it's half time, I'm exhausted. I'm 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 exhausted. Mm. So I just thought, no man. You know, if I cannot change this. This will leave my kids motherless. Yeah. It will leave my husband. And it will deprive you of a career. Exactly. Oh. You know? So I just thought, no, Gift, if you can't do it now, you will never start. That's so true. So this is the challenge that I did. Just for me to push. You know, it's hard to start. So last year, December, I took a challenge. I, I spoke to myself. I took a challenge. I said, Gift, you see the Ponte building? Yes, 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 yes. I took a challenge. There's a there's a there's a challenge they do every first day of December. Uh-huh. So because I work with charities as well, so whatever I do, there must be a charity. Okay. So I said because I want to give back to the charity, let me take these things and put them together mm-hmm. so that I do what I love. Yes. And then do it with and combine it with something that does that is not comfortable yes. with me. Yes. I said I'm going to climb that 54 building wow story building on the 1st of december wow so i had to push myself to wake up in the morning jog like run and then i went to uh, there's a stadium behind sorry to theater that is stairs so i had to wake up in the morning go run up and down run up and down run up and down just for me to get the strength yes and it helped me because if i can tell you on the 1st of december i took that challenge and i asked people to donate yes i said people must because i was looking at giving back at the yes. same time yes so and people started donating i told them that it is not easy for me because of my weight mm-hmm. but i'm gonna do it because i want to lose weight this is a healthy living for me and it's gonna help someone did else too right i did what size I did. are you now you said you were 52. i was 52 now i'm 46. wow yes well so now I, yes now i'm 46. so and i'm still looking forward as to losing more more weight more weight so i did that and in 49 minutes i was at in 54th floor wow 49 minutes so for me i was like gift you can do it and i told you that if i did it you can also do it you know don't look down don't, don't look at yourself and feel I'm so big, I can't do it, you know. Tina, we condemn ourselves first before. Mm, so, so try, so you yes. know, don't sit down, try. And then, but I've tried, I've tried, and gishulegi. But don't just say gishulegi, even if you've never even tried to take a step. Gift, you've inspired me to actually do the Ponte challenge. Yes, babe. Yes. I'm also going to do those 54. Um, uh, stories of story builders yes, yes. Um, climbing I yes. think on the next challenge I should join you yes <laughs> so what are your future prospects what are you doing in the near future in terms of either music or just in the next what can we expect okay before I go there on the challenge I was actually this is what I'm doing every year I'm doing it with a, with a, a one celebrity okay so you're my first so this December. So this December. I need to go to gym. Yes. Take gym seriously, guys. So guys, this December I'm with 
my friend Swazi Lamini. We're I'm doing it for the I'm charity. Yes, to it. I'm coming. Yes. And we're gonna do a church girls new rock special. Yes, and, yeah, for sure. So, I'm committing so to we're it. climbing the the ponte this year. Yep. So we yes. said it publicly. So come yeah. on now. Yeah. So work wise, what do you? I think you are going to. I'm going to the UK. Yes. In I think. What first are you of doing April. there? I'm also doing workshops. Okay. Yes. In a church. There's a church that approached. Uh, approached us uh they spoke to my sister so my sister was like mm -mm, i know who knows better mm. so she opened the door and then i'm going with my husband we're going to do uh workshops there for for the church wow. and yeah i love for how, six your, months. how you and your sister know who does what when yes. and you know yes. she says no speak to my sister and you're like no speak to my yes. sister i, I love yes. that about you guys and she was speaking about family and legacy yes. when she was here so it really shows that you guys are really grounded yes. and you know what it is that you are doing and gift your church girl who rocks my bye. thank you girl thank and you girl. i wish you all the best and i'll see you at the Ponte challenge <laughs> thank you so much thank you for having me thank You're you amazing for watching also. and i'll see you next week when i bring you another church girl who rocks my name is Lisa.